morning, but actually no, it's not the morning, it's the afternoon, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Stephen had a huge sleep in this morning, and so we didn't leave the, um... hang on, let me just get some Subway, uh, my hands through. Um, Stephen had a huge sleep in, didn't wake up till 12. Hang on, right, let me just get out of this place now, I'll speak to you in a second. But I'm on my way out now, I can talk to you again. So he didn't wake up till whatever time it was anyway, but we left 10. Did I just say 12? I think I just said 12. I woke up at just after 10, I thought I'd just leave him, and I got completely up to date. Completely up to date with my editing, almost. And I'm, I have no idea what I'm talking about, my brain isn't working properly. Anyway, forget about all of that, we're out now, it's 2 o'clock. We have come to the Temple of Heaven. We are just at the subway station now. About to go there. Here's a brief introduction to the Temple of Heaven. If you want to pause and read it. Right, we're inside. I thought it was just like a temple, but it's massive gardens as well. I was reading this morning that the, the area of the park and the gardens is bigger. Did you know this, Stephen? It's bigger than the size of the Forbidden City. It's, so it's absolutely massive. The cost to get in, it was 15 for me, 10 for Stephen. That, we've just got a park ticket. You can get one that goes like, inside the temple and different things for, it's called a through ticket for 34, but we just don't want to do that. This is the long corridor. I'll pop some info up on the screen now. Pause the video if you want to know more about it. It changed the whole ticket thing. We had to buy, to get into the Temple of Heaven bit, there's a wall around it, so we couldn't get in. So we had to buy a ticket to get in there, which cost 20 for me, 10 for Stephen. So it was probably cheaper to buy the free ticket on the entrance, but never mind. Here it is. Stephen is not impressed, but there is not one little bit of shade here. It's absolutely boiling hot today. Is there a little bit around the corner? We should have stopped putting my sunglasses out with me today. I can't see the bloody things. Are you coming? Are you up there? Oh gosh, I don't know where he is. I'm just having a little sit down. I want to drink because it's so warm. Have I had that today? It's so warm today. More photos. You don't like it at all, do you? They just come up to Stephen and they're like with their um, with their phones. He just doesn't like it. I like just smile at them and whatever. But he's not happy with it. Yeah. I think we kind of went into it the wrong way. We came in from that side. What we're walking on now, away from the Temple of Heaven, is kind of the main walkway up to it.
So yeah. We're just heading through now. We're going to the Echo Wall. Don't know what it is at the moment, but I'm sure oh, we'll find out. Maybe, yeah, that would yeah, that one would make sense. Yeah, that maybe it's called the Echo Wall. Because it's echoey and it's a wall. Pearls of wisdom from Stephen there. Like the summer palace. Like the summer palace. It's a palace that they go to in the summer. It is though. This is the Echo Wall. I'm gonna go and find out some information about it. And Stephen's gonna take pictures of it. Did you get a good picture? Good. This tree is a nine dragon juniper. People are like praying to it, sort of. Like raising their hands up to it. I don't know what that means. See, they're all doing it. What's the deal? All of them. I feel like there's something that we don't know. Chinese go mad for their trees apparently. I don't know what they're doing on this one. But they're all like rubbing it. Don't know what the significance is again. I don't know what that's all about. I feel I need to find that information out. I know because so many people have loved it. I don't know. That extra ticket that we got to go inside the Temple of Heaven, we needed it to come inside the Echo Wall. The echo Wall? Yeah, the Echo Wall as well. Because you've already got them. Come on in. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> This is what's inside. The Imperial oh. Vault of Heaven. This place is called the Circular Mound. They used to do. They used to. Um, <coughs> they used to worship heaven every winter solstice. Back in like four, was it say 1430 something like that? <laughs> yeah. The size of it is just so huge. This stone in the centre is called the Heavenly Stone, and I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're all done now in um, the Temple of Heaven. I've just said that about eight times, I couldn't remember what it was called each time. That's why we're laughing. We're heading over to uh, Tiananmen Square. Now, look what we spotted as we were leaving. Oh my god, he's got a little nut in his mouth. How adorable. Oh! Oh my god. Look at him. Bounding along. Oh my god. <laughs> We've arrived back at like, the Forbidden City Tiananmen Square area. Here? It's so big. It is so big. The Forbidden City over there. Tiananmen Square over there, that's where we're going because we missed it yesterday. What is it? Is it glass? Oh no, it's um. No, it's um, tiles or something. It's fallen off somebody's car or something. I just got told off for filming by the guards because of that whole. I don't really know what happened. They've, something that's broken in the middle of the road. And they shouted at me, I wasn't allowed to film it. <laughs> We've arrived at Tiananmen Square. Currently, fourth largest square in the world. It's pretty huge, actually. 
We're gonna stop, sit down for a minute, eat a banana. <laughs> And then we're gonna head up to the park, Jin Sung, Jin Sung Park, something like that. I can't remember what it's called. I'll tell you in a bit when we get there. <laughs> okay. We have a suggestion: put some benches in this square because we're gonna have to sit on the floor and eat our banana. <laughs> No good. I'm fine. You're fine. Well, I'm fine really, but I'd rather a bench. Yeah. We've arrived at Jinsan Park. We're going up to the top right up there. Here's a brief introduction if you would like to read it. <laughs> That's not quite brief, is it? The park to get in, in case you're interested, was to. <laughs> He cannot walk in flip flops, it's I tell you. Because like, he, he doesn't pick up his feet, he just drags his feet along the floor. Like doing so it. he hits into any little bump in the pavement. Um, it cost two for me and one for Stephen to get in. Look okay, out, Stephen. So uh oh. Be careful, you, with your flip flops. Don't be slipping and falling or moaning about more steps. There's a lot of steps. I Should we count about. them from here? Oh, I'm going to go back down. Really? You're going to go back to the bottom? Yeah. Okay, go back to the bottom. Twenty-nine. <laughs> Twenty-nine. Okay, let's continue. Seventy-six. Oh, I've still got a few more. Hang on. Total is two nine nine. Oh wow! Want to have a look at these views? It's a bit, it's a bit um, like cloudy in that. It's not so good. It's a shame. But that is the view of Forbidden City. Central point of Beijing city. How many to the very top then? How many? 322. It's a shame it's not clear, isn't it? It's a shame it's so cloudy because those views would be pretty spectacular if it wasn't. It said that it's like a really good place to go and watch sunset, and I can imagine. It's amazing. Uh oh, can you hear it? And uh, I think there's a storm on the way. I'm not in the best place, to be honest. The storm. <laughs> Did it flash then? Yeah. Oh, that was a big one. That is it. We don't really know what to do now because we were heading, we we're heading to the night market, but there's a lot of lightning and winds picking up a little bit, so we don't know whether just to sit it out here for a little bit and see if it passes or what to do. Is it round the other side? Can have a look. Stephen said, I said, okay, then we'll stay. 
Oh my goodness, I'm not joking, we're walking down all those steps and the thunder is getting worse and the lightning's getting worse. We're going to get stuck in a mother effer of all storms um, here. I think it's going to stop pouring. I minute. think, yeah, so do I. I think the night market thing might be off. Yeah, I think we might want to get looking forward to that thing. as well. Maybe oh. you actually want to. We're out of the park. There's been a lot of thunder and a lot of lightning on the steps down. I don't, I don't mind, we quite like a yeah. summer storm, don't we really? I don't mind a storm at all. We are walking to, we're going to go and see the only thing yeah. is, do you see that? Can you tell that on camera? I don't know if you can. Um, the only thing is, if obviously if it's stormy, the night market is not going to be on. Which is a shame because we kind of planned the whole day about leaving. This and that. <laughs> We plan the whole day around like being out later for the night markets, but if it's not on, it's not on. Nothing we can do about it. Okay, the rain started now. This is excellent. We are gonna get drenched. Well, we can't find the night market, but we found like a busy shopping street, so we're just gonna have a little wander around here. I have no idea whether, oh we can cross, this is really dangerous trying to cross a road and trying to unblob at the same time, it's like taking your life into your own hands. Um, yeah I don't know whether I got the wrong day or the wrong location or what the deal was but um, it, we couldn't find it anyway. So no night market which is a shame so I was quite looking forward to that but never mind we are on our way home. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, um, you'll go to this evening market. Yeah, you'll go to this evening market. But I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. So thanks for watching today, and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.